Hi right, guys. Um, I realised after I did the uh, after I did um, the last video on uh, uh, crypto crosswords, uh, it was you know uh, trying to teach beginners how to do uh, the telegraph was just daft. So what I've done is I bought I bought the uh, Sun yesterday. Thoroughly enjoyed doing it, and um, uh, so I'm going to do the Sun. Uh, Sun's uh, the second easiest um, crypto crossword you'll do. Uh, you can do uh, it's 55p. I'm not advertising the sun uh, for you for you beginners. Um, it's got cryptic clues down one side, and it's got coffee time clues, and these are your standard crossword clues. And the same, it's the same thing. Um, the cryptic is just a really cryptic version of a coffee time clue. So um, let's. Um, I'll give you an example. So this is this is the first one uh, with um, with cryptic crosswords. There's um, I just reiterate. There's one basic rule of cryptic crosswords: at the beginning or the end of the clue, there will be a simple definition, uh, i.e., a basic clue as to what the the answer is, and then the rest of the clue is uh, wordplay. So it's all cryptic um, stuff to uh, confuse um, to help you get to the right answer. So um, Let's. Uh, I couldn't get clown beginning to uh, act needs powder. Uh, I've already done this, by the way. Um, it, it didn't take me long. To, um, uh, it's a very enjoyable. There was a couple of clues that gave me problems, but um, but anyway, I'll go through how I did it. So we've got uh, four across. Mama keeps headgear for Indian sage. Now, the the we're looking for now. So because the definition is either at the beginning or the end. Uh, it's either Mama or Mama Keeps or uh, Indian Sage or Sage. Uh, it turns out to be Indian Indian Sage, but this is how you, how you work it. How I worked it out. Now, um, Mama keeps headgear. The headgear straight away. I thought of hat, and then we had Indian Sage. I thought of the answer uh, because Mama is a word that keeps has inside it. Headgear hat. So the hat inside of Mah um, uh, Mama becomes Mahatma, which is Indian sage. So we'll pop that in there. So that's a nice easy one. And to give you an example of, so say for example you're learning and all of that was complete nonsense to you, you still couldn't get it. On the on the uh, non cryptic side, the coffee is Gandhi's honorific title, which is Mahatma. So you're, so so if you can't do it, so it help you. Um, if you really are a total beginner, it will help you uh, to do it. I actually consulted this once with one of the, you know, to my shame, uh, you know, I um, I consulted it once because I just couldn't get it. There were a couple of quite hard clues here, um, uh, but anyway, right. So let's let's carry on. Uh, we don't want this to go on uh, a massive amount. So let's do um, uh, four down. Was really really hard. It took me right to the end to to work out um, what that was. Uh, so let's try five down. Right, little terror had to catch new flu variant. Um, actually, no, that's not helping me. Right, six down. Um, uh, taken from Lumet, it lends book name. It's six down. Uh, because we've got a T, so what we do is we've got some letters, we try and use them. So we've got the T at the beginning. Uh, book name is probably the um, uh, the definition, and you sh you might guess what the um, the five letter word beginning with T is uh, based on book name. Um, but if we we've got this these this instruction here, this is the part of the word place. So we've got taken from. So if we look within some of the words after taken from, it, we've got a hidden word. So we've got Lumet, at the end is a T, then we've got IT, then we've got LE, and that makes title. So you might have guessed from book name that we're talking with, it begins with a T, that we've got title, and this confirms it. We look for that hidden, that hidden word. So we've got title. Right, we've only done two clues, and that's nearly five minutes done already. Right, so I noticed in the in the um, in the sun that these short little words are very often nice and easy. Uh, so we've got eleven across, which is three. Uh, old priest in 
uh, I don't know what that word is, chapelize or God knows what that is. I presume it's a real word, but you can't always tell. Uh, so old priest is the definition probably. Uh, and again, we're looking for for something hidden within it. And Eli, Eli, I believe is a prophet in the Old Testament. I uh, don't don't beat me up if I got that wrong. Right, and the reason I probably got that wrong is because of seven down, which is an unbeliever witnessing bank job. Uh, and this will this will explain why I couldn't. I, I probably got Eli wrong because I'm I'm probably one of these. Right, an unbeliever. Now, can we guess? It begins with A. It's got an I near the end. Uh, you can probably guess what that is. I don't want to try and teach you how to guess because when you get to things like the Times and the the Telegraph, guessing. You know, you'll have a definition like fish, and you've got thousands of fish to choose from. But anyway, um, I I guessed it. I biffed it in there, and uh, so I popped in atheist. And then I look at the word. So if we know, so if we know unbeliever is the, um, we believe that unbeliever is the definition. Then we guess. Then we have a look at the rest of the words to see whether or not it confirms that our belief. That is atheist. So witnessing bank job. A bank job is a heist. And witnessing it is you are at the heist. So that confirms it. It's, at, it's atheist. Right. Um, I had a bit of trouble with this one. Nine across. Nick, back on time, comes to church. Now, straight away we think Nick uh, is something has been stolen. But that's not. There's other... Um, Nick means other things than just being stolen. Um, we've got an instruction back, which tends to suggest take a word and go backwards. So Nick might be going backwards, or on, or on time might be going backwards. But there's another for for regular uh, cryptic um, crossword um, players. Uh, church is nearly always, ninety nine percent of the time, either ch popping ch into the word, or ce, or RC for Roman Catholic. Uh, so CE's Church of England, RC Roman Catholic, or CH is what you would find on a map to represent a church. So these are abbreviations. So we got we know see that H there. T, I reckon I'm I'm fairly confident. I was confident when I did this. That's a C in there. So we've got so what are the other two were? So we it's probably because church is part of the word play, it's only part of the, the clue. Therefore, the other end, because we know the definition is either the beginning or the end, it's probably Nick is the definition. So what something something ch is represents Nick, and this took me a while. Now, we've got an instruction here, back. So if we take on, turn it round, it becomes no. And then N-O, T for time, and then church becomes notch. Which is, if you nick something, you notch it. We've got notch. Okay. So now we've got, I believe I biffed this one, five down. A little terror had to catch new flu variant. Um, I guess this is a handful. Um, and I'll explain why. Um, so a little terror is a handful. I can, you know, taking those two letters and then, you know, it's just like a standard crossword, you can guess. Let's have a look at the um, the uh, wordplay. So if Little Terror is the is the um, uh, definition, then uh, had to catch, i.e. take in, to ha um, new flu and variant. So um, variant suggests um, anagram. Yeah, so that, that to catch is probably superfluous. So some people criticise the sun for having words in it that don't do anything. I think that probably counts. But anyway, so if you take had, so what I do is with, with we didn't do an anagram with, um, um, didn't do an anagram with um, the telegraph. But you take, what I do is make a circle had N for new, N is short for new and flu. And you just basically look around those those letters until you find handful, H-A-N-D-F-U-L. So pop that in. 
So an anagram indicator, I don't know whether we did this in the last, the last one, uh, things like anything, a, a word that means changing or confusing or maddening or crazy, um, uh, just, you know, confusing things, uh, ruining. If you ever see the word ruin, it's an, it tends to be an anagram indicator most of the time. But anyway, right, okay, so let's move on. So 14 across, uh, no longer trendy, lot had changed. So we've got, um, oh, I can't remember how to do it. Um, no longer trendy, lot had changed. Oh, we've got three and three, so I always, so it's two words, three letters each. So I always bung it in, so, I, so in my mind I know. But it's um, so you might already, if you know it's two two words or three letters, you might have guessed what um, what the answer is to that is. Um, no longer trendy with those letters. But anyway, let's look at um, the wordplay to see if we can. Um, um, so we've got six letters there, and an anagram indicator changed, uh, and that's the definition. No longer trendy. Uh, so we go lot had just like any other put them in a circle and that comes out as just a little bit of thinking a bit of scratching your head and it comes out as old hat which is no longer trendy so this is why so you get some nice really easy um, clues which set you up a few letters so when you get the hard ones it makes it easy to work out the hard ones but like I say, I did have trouble with the, the last three, which is quite embarrassing because this is only the sun. Um, but it's, um, it's it's not. I'm not being a snob about it. It's just that the sun is easy. Is easy. They, there's lots of anagrams and lots of hidden um, clues, which are the easiest types. Now the the times will have one hidden and no more than that. Um, anyway, right. Fifteen down. Let's see what we how we how we got to that. Banshee destroyed as fallen star three dash four. Banshee destroyed as fallen star. So uh, I it could be the definition could be either banshee or banshee destroyed, or fallen or a fallen star or star. Um, destroyed suggests to me it's like ruined and confused and also it's or recreated. It sounds like an anagram indicator. So one of the words or two of the words around it that add up to seven um, need to be around destroyed, need to be uh, anagrammed. So we've got Banshee, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got Banshee, so just like over here, we write out, I'm running out of screen space to do this, but basically you put Banshee in a circle and then look for an anagram that means fallen star, um, two words, three and four. And the answer is has been which, as I write it in, you can see all the letters of Banshee are in there. So what are we doing? So it's 30, I can't believe that's 13 minutes. Um, this is a fun one. Uh, those who are interested in the law, so we've got 10 across. Sing, sing, simple argument has one going to court. Um, so one going to, uh, I can't remember how I did this now. Uh, well, one I probably biffed. I mean, obviously, one going to court because I've got a bit, of, a little bit of um, legal knowledge. Uh, plaintiff. Um, I can't remember how to. Oh yes. Uh, so we've got a word that means yes. I did do. I guessed this and then recreated it using the word play. So if we know one going to court is the definition, let me underline that. So we know not to use those words for anything else. So we've got simple argument has, right? So it's simple is plain. Argument is a tiff. Put the two together, you've got plaintiff, which is one going to court. Okay, right. The, uh, I had a lot. I had a lot of fun. I've done the the sun twice this week. And I've had a lot of fun with it. I might carry. It. I mean, a snobbery sort of stopped me from doing it. There's no glory. There's no real glory, but it is fun. So yeah, so it's worth doing. If you're a beginner, I think it's really good because of these. 
So for example, we just done plaintiff a minute ago using cryptic clues. Let's have a look at the simple clue. Tell across, person bringing a lawsuit. Nine letters. That's a, plain, uh, a plaintiff. So, um, right, let's have a look, see what else we've got. Um, uh, two down. Uh, yeah, so we've got two down. It's undo, undo pack, Q baked item. Now we've got, so... It could be, pack could be, uh, take this word and put that word inside it. That's one way, but pack, it didn't turn out to be that. Undo is is an operator, and it's saying undo is an anagram indicator. Because uh, it's saying take something and ruin it. So we've got, uh, we're looking for seven letters. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now if you put pack Q in a little circle, You'll find, rearranging the letters, you'll come up with cupcake, which is a baked item. And we know, we've got the little A there, so that will give you a little clue. It's always good to have some letters. So, um, one across, clown beginning to act, needs powder. Um... So clown is, um, I got this by going, well, what, what clowns do I know? I know Coco, Coco the clown uh, needs powder. Well, the uh, powder, so uh, beginning to act, yes. So you've got Coco, C-O-C-O, -C -O, the beginning to act. So the beginning to act is A, the beginning of, of act is A. So put A with Coco. And that becomes powder. It's a bit of a dodgy, uh, a dodgy um, uh, construction of a clue, but it gives you enough to get. I mean, I got it. Um, so it gives you just enough. It's a very deceptive, but uh, deception is what it's about with crypt, um, uh, cryptic. Um. Oh, and before I, you know, it's been seventeen minutes. So I'll just quickly. I'll show you this one at the bottom just for fun. Um, uh, which is uh, 24 across, mysterious underground vault I see, right? Uh, if I'm guessing, I guessed at the time that mysterious was the um, this definition. So it's the simple clue for the whole clue. Uh, an underground vault is a crypt. I see, is if you take S-E-E -E and put a C there, you get a crypt. With an IC at the end becomes cryptic, which is mysterious. So it's uh, there's a bit of playing with our heads a little bit, and they do like the um, they do like doing that. Anyway, I've given you a good um, good. Um, I mean, it's been eight, eighteen minutes now, so I've given you a, a few clues on how to do a cryptic uh, crossword. So if you've never done one before, this will give you a head start. Uh, the, I would. Uh, I can't really. I mean, I'm. I'm on the left, but the uh, but I do recommend that's the cat. By the way, if you're wondering what that noise was, uh, I do, I do like the it's a good it's a good crossword. I do enjoy it. It's simple. Uh, it's got ordinary clues down here. If you get stuck, um, uh, there's there's no dishonour in that. Uh, but you can there's a slightly easier um, uh, crossword, which is the the easiest one you can get, which is the the mirror. Um, which has less black uh, spaces, so there's lots of uh, crosswords. Um, and it's got, the mirror's also got coffee time clues as well. So I recommend doing that if you're a beginner. Uh, they get good at these and then move on to uh, the Times Quick Cryptic, I would recommend. I thoroughly enjoy And you don't have to spend, I mean, the Times is what, 160 a day. You can get books um, of cryptic uh, crosswords, you know, bumper books. Uh, I think they're seven ninety nine for a hundred, which is well, that makes nearly you know, what eight p eight p a puzzle. So um, uh, there's that for you if you if you want to do that. But anyway, yeah. So if if you want any further help, um, uh, put a comment below uh, and I'll I'll try and help. But like I say, I'm 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 a novice. I'm intermediate. Um, I've been doing it six months, uh, so you know. It, 
there are there's some very good um some very good there's one very good um a youtube site which is cracking the cryptic uh that sort of specializes in the times really um the really hard ones um uh, and i don't, i can't find any other youtube channels that are any good uh, but there are a couple of blogs that are worth having a look at um, and like I say, Kevin Skinner's book on, on cryptic crosswords is worth definitely, in fact, I think that's a must uh, to buy, uh, to have a go, uh, to learn how to do it properly. But anyway, that's, that's, uh, that's me. I'll see you on the next one. Ta-da.